Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in. If you're new, collective, I'm doing your reading. All right. This one out here blowing, the sun going down. Yes, I'm having me a little see it. Enjoying the scene. I just took some pictures. I was like, B, what you doing? <laughs> what is you doing out here? I'm feeling good though. You know, I'm working on myself. Loving the little things that I used to hate about myself. It's a little weird feeling. I'm on like this journey and it's just like surrender. Surrender. Quit trying to control everything and surrender. And I'm doing that. So that's where I'm at right now. It feels good. It's kind of, It was scary at first, but it feels good. I'm a Capricorn, so you know I try to control everything. Everything got to line up. There got to be a plan. B, C, D, E, F, G for the shit that I want. I guess that's why we're so determined. Okay, so the first card that came out for you collective is hat. You will be playing a different role. So this is somebody who could wear multiple hats or you're about to be wearing multiple hats. I see a couple walking by and there are two dogs. The guy's walking a little bit faster. He's a little overweight and the wife's right there. Well, I think it's the wife. Oh, I'm about to start crying. Why do I get so damn emotional about stuff? Period of prosperity and abundance. Okay, so all these multiple hats that you're about to be wearing could be turning up some type of abundance for you. Good fortune, Beetle. Oh my God, who reading is this? Oh, don't go flying away. Frying pan. Somebody could be, there could be some trouble or accusations coming your way. And then we have broom. New home, new attitude. What else? <laughs> Why do they always got to make me do acrobatics and shit to get these cards? Announcements. So there's some type of message or news coming in about something. Now there's sand under my nail. I know I'm just complaining. <laughs> Who could complain at a time like this? Oh my God, the sun's almost gone. I'm gonna have to try to light my candles. Is it me or is it always windy at the beach? Like always, like it's never not windy. I mean, it's less windy than other times sometimes, but well, great worry over nothing. Okay, so whatever these troubles or accusations are, you're worrying about them too much for no reason. It's like nothing's going to come of this shit. You got great fortune coming out twice. So whoever I'm reading for, you got, you got all the blessings here, I see. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Oh my God, I got sand everywhere, y'all. I was trying to go put my feet in the water to help ground me and bring me back down, you know. But of course the walk back up here yielded all kind of damn sand on my feet. So hold on, let me, and I can't deal with it. Like it's bothering me. Y'all just gotta wait a second. And my feet wasn't dry to do this before I started the video. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can um, <laughs> before the sun is gone. All right, so y'all bear with me for one freaking second. Okay. Ooh, that's much better. It's still sand everywhere, but not as bad. <laughs> okay. See, this is the um, disadvantages of doing tarot at the beach or even being at the beach, really. We finna do some clarification though. So you're wearing multiple hats. 
you're getting prosperity and abundance you got good fortune somebody's going to try to accuse you of something possibly you could be getting a new home or new attitude or you could just be in a new place or you know whatever hat you put on got you having a new perspective and you got a new attitude about things there's some type of news or announcement coming in and then you're worrying for something over nothing and then good fortune again and also a uh, club somebody trying to make you do something against your will whoever that is oh this car was all the way over there marriage da, da, da. okay I'm gonna use these All right, these cars better not get to flying. It's getting more windy as the sun goes down. Anyway, um, quit. Stop it. And that's when you bring out the seashells and the crystals. All right. All right, tell me about this hat. You'll be playing different roles. What is this about? Page of Pentacles. So yeah, you're gonna be starting a lot of different new endeavors. You might be new at it at first. You might not be as experienced, but shit, I see you trying. Somebody gonna be trying. And obviously it's gonna be bringing a lot of good fortune and prosperity, shit. So you ain't got nothing to worry about whether you're good at it or not whether you're as good as you think you are it's just like do it yeah there's going to be reciprocity here there's going to be equal give and take it's going to pay off whatever you put into it is going to pay off show me this bread abundance and prosperity Ooh. so after a period of you could be getting assistance but also too um with the five of pentacles it could be that you're coming out of this energy judgment at the bottom and hangman and the sun damn so i'm getting with the judgment card being here with the five of pentacles and then a uh, period of prosperity and abundance i'm getting like somebody has been through um in my other videos if you guys watch them i was talking about how the universe always balances itself out with this prosperity period and then the five of pinnacles coming in right after that which is a period period of lack loss or being without usually it's telling me that it's kind of like the wheel of fortune without it being here it's just like you went through this period already now the universe is balancing itself back out and you're going to go through a period of prosperity this is the judgment And the hangman, it's like you're finally starting to realize why you were stuck. Oh my God, and this is tying back to what I just told you guys about me earlier. It's like surrendering now. You're being asked to surrender because your happiness is coming and the universe is bringing it in for you. I can't hold these damn cards right. The universe is bringing it in with, for you for, with judgment and the hangman. It's like, just sit down. Sit down and let me do this. Sit down, little girl. Let me do this. <laughs> That's what the universe is telling you. Because it's going to end up for your benefit, your happiness. All right, tell me about this good fortune. And if the sun wasn't enough to tell you that, you got good fortune down here twice. You got worrying over nothing down here. Show me this beetle. Oh, yeah, we finna get into um, who trying to cause trouble and make accusations. Yeah, somebody's watching your great fortune, too. But I'm also getting with this page of swords, you're learning, you know, you're navigating, you're learning. Basically, you're using your mind. You're just starting. You got the page twice. So there's a couple things that you're just starting. You got a new opportunity. What did I tell y'all? The will of fortune. I'm telling y'all, I know what the fuck I be talking about. I know. 
there's a new opportunity coming in, something that you're passionate about, something that you're guided to do, something that sparks your inspiration and the will is turning in your favor because you're going for it now. And it's also the universe balancing itself out, karma. Oh yeah, the will of fortune talks about karma too. It talks about the ebbs and flow of time. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. You're in a cycle right now to where you were down, now you're up. Show me this frying pan. We got the nine of cups, baby. Excuse me? <laughs> frying pan, trouble or accusations. And then we got the nine of cups. Make it make sense. <laughs> What do you mean accusations? Accusations about what? Because you're getting what you want, somebody's gonna try to accuse you of something? Is that what I'm getting here? Ooh, two of cups. This could be a loved one, somebody you're really close with, a sibling, a parent, a family member, somebody you got a close bond with. Oh, they jelly. They jelly. They secretly jealous. Oh my goodness. Somebody could be jealous of a connection too that you got going on. So somebody's going to make an accusation about something. I want to look into this a little bit more because I don't know that it's real or true. What is this Nine of Cups? What is this accusation with the Nine of Cups? The Strength card. Ooh. Somebody's going to be saying a betrayal happened, but it didn't happen. But you ain't going to know for sure. Somebody's going to be lying to create a burden. I'm getting Leo. A Leo. Somebody's intuition about something. It could be a love offer. It could be somebody stepping outside of a relationship. Yep, third party, three of cups. I can't. And before I even seen it, I said it. Y'all. What am I seeing? Somebody planted this because they're fucking miserable in their own life. Like somebody's just making this shit up because they're miserable. Somebody trying to get away with something. I don't know. What? Okay, Spirit is saying that you need to dial it back. Like when you do start getting what you want. Uh, dial it back like don't I'm not saying don't be excited for what you got but don't be like broadcasting it or trying to share it with everybody because there's some motherfuckers that ain't gonna like that we got the queen of wands coming out I see somebody that's looking very good somebody that's really loving on themselves somebody that's starting to look very attractive to other people you could be getting some attention here with the queen of wands you got a new attitude and i'm getting like um you're at home with yourself that's what i'm getting we got the ten of swords in reverse damn with the king of pentacles Just know that everybody ain't going to be happy for you. Okay? So, dial it back a little bit. Tone it down. What is this announcement? Don't get on the borderline of gloating. Alright, we got the two of wands coming out. Everybody's leaving because it's getting dark. So somebody's announcing that they're traveling or everybody knows that somebody's traveling now or some shit, the King of Pentacles. So somebody's looking at someone like they got it like that. Oh, like they ain't as broke down as they said they were. They ain't as stuck as they were or that we thought they were. 
I feel like this is clearing up a lot of air for somebody. I think there was a lot of people that was curious about what was going on with you. And they found out you had dipped out. We got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they didn't have clarity on what was going on with you. Okay, so these people were trying to come for you. I see with the uh, Nine of Swords. Somebody thought that you was going to be broke down, afraid, and stuck. But you do. You weren't. <laughs> what? What did I just see? I don't like this shit. Like I said before, and I'm going to repeat it, everybody's not happy for you, so dial it back a little bit. Dial it back. We got the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. Yeah, there's great worry over nothing. So the Eight of Swords talks about worrying, talking about being stuck in your mind, ruminating on thoughts, going around and around and around and around, mental fucking merry-go-round in your mind. But it was in reverse with the well great worry over nothing don't worry about whatever anybody tries to accuse you of here which i'm i really want to know what the accusation is because i mean i feel like somebody might have been holding back saying this some was whatever somebody's going to try to say it because they want you to be stuck tell me about this strength card the nine of cups and accusations what is this about we got the five of swords i mean obviously that's what it's about you know somebody's fucking out for themselves they trying to come up they trying to say and do whatever to make somebody look a certain type of way or to make themselves look a certain type of way or make somebody think something about someone. They're trying to cause a loss of opportunity. This could have something to do with money. Hmm. All right, show me this next great fortune. I'm all, yeah, I'm getting somebody's going to be getting a lot of attention. So if you got like a platform or something, you're going to be getting a lot of views. That's what I'm seeing. Show me this good, great fortune with that page of swords. I don't know if I explained that really good or not. We got the tower. What the fuck? On oh, great fortune? Uh, yeah, it's almost time to pack it up. We got the knight of pentacles in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. So something is a uh, something that's coming in is going to be very shocking to you. It's something that's really good though. I'm getting. Show me this tower. What is this about? What is this great fortune about? This tower. You're not expecting it. Whatever it is, it's probably not only going to shock you, but it's probably going to shock a lot of other people too. Okay. Uh-oh. What? Something from your past or something about your past or your childhood is going to shock somebody or shock everybody. And it's good fortune. We got the fool in reverse. Wow. Tell me more about the Six of Cups tower. I'm getting that something didn't be begin how somebody thought it began with the fool in reverse. So maybe there's something about your childhood that's not what you thought it was. It didn't begin how you thought it did. We got the Knight of Cups here. And the Seven of Swords. Oh my God, so there was some type of lie or secret or somebody created some type of diversion or something like that. Oh my God, what the fuck? Somebody's gonna be coming to tell you something. 
which announcement is here. Somebody is actually going to be traveling to come tell you something about your childhood that's going to be really shocking but it's also going to be really good for you like yeah some type of treachery is over the death card is here or somebody could have died and somebody tried to get away with something whatever somebody was trying to get away with they can no longer get away with the judgment here and the page of wands like it's stopping Tell me more about this announcement, the Two of Wands. What is this? It's coming to your awareness that you're traveling somewhere. Someone's going to be traveling. This is somebody's father. Somebody's father is going to be traveling towards them to tell them some shocking ass news. There's going to be celebration, I see, but... What the fuck? So there's going to be an announcement about somebody's father, a get together, possibly a funeral. I did see the death card. I don't fucking know what's happening here. This is crazy. Show me this emperor. I did not expect this. Page of Cups. We got three pages here. This is definitely in the Six of Cups. This is definitely about somebody's childhood. This is, could be about somebody's uh, paternity. A paternity, that's what I'm getting. Maternity, paternity, mostly paternity. Somebody knows already though. Somebody has a, a inkling inside of them that something's not right about their childhood. Somebody is an old. What the fuck? Okay, so this is how this person is gonna see you. They're going to see you if you have a platform. That's what I'm getting here. And it's going to be like a, a luck of the draw. Oh, I almost hurt my thumb. That hurt. God, this is what happens when you get old. <laughs> Fuck. Um, somebody's going to see you and it's going to be like, what's the word I'm trying to say? It's going to be like a stroke, of, a stroke of luck that they happen to see you because you have an online platform or they've seen you online or through social media or something like that. Somebody's been lying about something. And you might not be the one being accused here. Somebody's going to be slanging accusations. But a wish is coming true. This could cause somebody to move. Whatever this news or this shocking information that's coming in for you, this could be causing somebody to have to move or to relocate or, I mean, not causing them to, but it might be the, um, I can't think of the word. It might be the deciding or determining factor as to why you move. Because you're going to find out something here and you're worried about something, but for no reason. Tell me more about this. The Ace of Swords. You're worrying, but you already know the truth. And if you don't know the truth, you're about to receive clarity right now. You're about to receive clarity so that you can make the right decision. Justice. And the Ten of Pentacles. Boo. There is something going on here with somebody's... Uh, parentage i don't know how else to fucking say yeah the message is coming in with the knight of swords some some and it's coming quick this is some type of good justice justice about to be played out here oh my god somebody this all this whole situation caused somebody to miss the opportunity and now they're about to be compensated for it whatever this shopping news is about somebody's fucking parent possibly a father Oh my God, I'm done here. I kind of want to know what this, uh, somebody's going to make you try to make you do something, to, um, against your will. Show me this club. Show me this club. What is this club about? Oh, somebody might be trying to make you move or leave or travel against your will. Show me the seven of swords. 
the two of pentacles the queen of pentacles okay so somebody could be trying to tell you like okay if you don't come here then you're not gonna get this money that's what i'm getting here what the fuck is going on man somebody please tell me all right i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here it's 25 minutes in and i'm getting cold so i'm about to uh wrap this up i really appreciate you guys and i will see you on the next one